the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's Gospel reading, our Lord Jesus Christ enters into the house of Simon and he heals his mother-in-law who was suffering from fever. We all of us are suffering from so many with so many sicknesses. We have a sickness of jealousy, a sickness of pride, sickness of laziness, sickness of not keeping attention and all these things. Let us surrender to Jesus by confessing all our sins and ask him to forgive and heal and make us holy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. For the first reading, kindly turn to page number 218 from the New Testament. Page number 218 from the New Testament. First reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews, chapter 2, verses 14 to 18. First reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews, chapter 2, verses 14 to 18. Since, therefore, the children share flesh and blood. He himself, likewise, shared the same things, so that through the death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in salvary, slavery and fear of death, for it is clear that did not come to help angels, but the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had come to like his brothers and sisters in every respect, so that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make a sacrifice of atonement for the sins for the people, because he himself was tested by what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. This is the word of the Lord. For the Psalms, kindly turn to page number 641. Page number 641. Psalm 105 
verses 1 to 4 and 6 to 9. Psalm 105 verse 1 to 4 and 6 to 9. Your response shall be, The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Psalm 105 verses 1 to 4 and 6 to 9. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call of his name, make known his deeds along, make known his people, sing to him a new spring praises to him, tell of all his wonderful works, glory in his holy name, let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice, seek the Lord and his strength, seek his presence continually. Verse 6 to 9. O offspring of his servant Abraham, children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth, he is mindful of his covenant forever, of the world that he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac. Your response shall be, The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Kindly stand for the gospel acclamation. Harden not your hearts today. But listen to the voice of the Lord. For the gospel reading, kindly turn to page number 35 from the New Testament. 3, 5 from the New Testament. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 1 verses 29 to 39. Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 1 verses 29 to 39. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening, at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door, and he cured many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a desert place, and there he prayed, and Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, to accomplish his father's work, Jesus 
needed sustenance for his body and power for his soul that is food and prayer we see in the gospels jesus was going to the people especially in cana and in the house of zechariah zechariah martha mary and so many houses he entered and he dined with them and he ate with sinners and he invited many people to feel the belongingness of one another then another thing this physical nourishment is not only enough for jesus to accomplish his father's mission and that's why he went to lonely place where nobody could disturb him and that's why there he went and prayed had long communication and dialogue with his father and in order to get recharged by himself to give life to the people the prayer is the greatest weapon that jesus had and through which he delivered many people from demons he cured many sick people from various diseases and he became a source of joy and source of blessing for every person yes dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ in our day to day life if we want to become a blessing for other if we want to become a channel of his grace we have to have these two things food as well as prayer without eating our physical structure may not be or we may not have strength to walk or to speak and without prayer we may able, we may not able to do god's will in our day to day life and one thing we need to remember in our lives we all of us created to live for others we are created to live for others so if at all if we want to live for other people then we need prayer and food and prayer is the greatest weapon for each and every one of us to live other centered life and then only we will be able to fulfill the god fulfill god's mission in our day to life and that's how jesus could cure many people and he lived for others he never lived for himself and he lived for the others but for living for living for others is a greatest difficult it is a greatest task that with our own strength with our physical strength it won't be uh, possible but with the prayer with the help of jesus with the prayer and surely we'll be able to accomplish that work in our day to day life so therefore as jesus entered into desert place and had long communication dialogue with his father so also let us set a time in our busy schedule for jesus let us get recharged every day in our daily life so that we may live for others for our family members for our community for our parish for our society and thus by living for others we may able to live for god who is the source of everything amen Be of the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Amen.
it will become a bread of life. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat. Through Christ, O Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thumma Bala, Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, Saint Joseph, Saint Anthony, Saint Mother Teresa, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesed in our life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your puzzles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. <clears throat> Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you, those 
you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord the Lord be with you may almighty God bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit the mass is celebrated go in peace and glorify the lord